Biscuits. And we're back. Welcome home. Welcome home to the Brian and Pace podcast. We're joined by special guest today, the... The... Jackson? Field? <laughs> <laughs> I was like... I was like we, we, we planned that. Uh, welcome, Jackson. We just did an episode of Made to Create. For anyone who wants to see your journey as a content creator, go listen to that. Yep. But now we're going to have a bit more fun. A bit we more hope. loose, we hopefully. Hope. Got some stories. Jackson's got a story. We have a couple which, of stories. I've asked him to provide with about one minute's prep time. Yeah, yeah so we'll, no we'll pressure. See. We'll see. see um, a bit of a scattered episode, but it doesn't mean it's going to be bad. Do we want to start with Fact or Caps or should we go into like Am I the Asshole first? Yeah. We could do that for you, Am I the Assholes? Let's change it around. Yeah, yeah. Keep people, keep people guessing. Can oh. we do one? I got a long one though. Yeah. But it's good, I think. Is That's it good? Freaking long. I'll start with a short one and then let's go with a long one. The interns <coughs> can't cut down the Am I the Assholes then. <laughs> I'm, I'm shouting them out now because they're not here. We're joined by Charles on the deck. Charles on the deck. Charles, he's, deck. he's uh, yeah, L's, L's away and Layla away. So if they're listening, we need these stories cut down. <laughs> like, right. look, look at this pace. Let me show it to you. Okay. I mean, oh my God. Oh no. Oh my God. Yeah, it's oh like a two minute read. All right. Well, look, listeners, just come along with us for the ride. Come along you with us. You gotta trust. Stick yep. with us. Um, I got an ammo of the asshole. Yep. Go. Do you want to roll the- do, uh, Wait, do you know this game? It's really simple. Yeah. 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 Yes yeah. or no. The yeah. yellow one. Well, it's more like who's the asshole. Yeah. Okay. Roll the yellow one, Charles. Yeah. All right. Welcome to Am I the Asshole. Here we go. Am I the Asshole? I was waiting in line to get into a busy restaurant when this guy behind us in line who was in a wheelchair asked if he could go in front. And I said, why? And he pointed at the chair. So I said, you're already sitting down and you're waiting to sit down in a different place. You can wait your turn. Yeah. <laughs> Some people looked at me like I'm the dick, but this isn't Disneyland. A chair doesn't let you skip to the front. Yeah, no, I agree with them. <laughs> Damn, you know, it's uh, it, you know, that's a gray area. Yeah, I feel like totally justified in one respect, but mm -hmm. then also, did he need to say that? Yeah. Sure, did no, I have to agree that? with that. But like, I also think it's like, what do you need to? He's just trying to use his disability to like further himself when it's like really not that warranted. I don't yeah. think. Yeah. How entire? If you're in like, <laughs> I know, if you're in like crutches or something. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Actually, I do have a great amount also after this that links onto this. So we think the the disabled, the poor disabled guy in the wheelchair is the asshole. Oh well, you can't say poor disabled. You <laughs> can't just like ta attach that to it. Well, then. well, what do you think? Make me feel bad. Um. He, he does this all the time. He always, <laughs> yeah. He's always he always puts it on. If we air. take it at face value that. It's just a physical ailment. Yeah. I think he can wait like everybody else. He's right. He, he does make it as funny as it is. It is a good point. He is already sitting down. <laughs> you know what I mean? If anything, like, he should let people stand. Yeah. He, he should, what's he even lining up for? It's not, it's not like his fetus or anything like yeah. that. Yeah. No, oh, exactly. Oh, dear. Oh, like, dear. I, all right. So, guy in the wheelchair is the asshole? I don't think he's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you got to choose. Yeah. You know what? It's better to ask, you know. It's, be it's better to ask and have them say no than not ask at all. So, you know I what? Think he kind of... Shot a shot. No, I think he's an asshole because it's such a sh shit thing to ask on someone. Yeah. It's like, yeah. What, am, what am I going to say here? Yeah. It's like, I have to, you know, it was like, actually last night I was on a date. Oh, go on. And she was like, um, I got the first round and she was like, oh, do you want me to get second round? I'm like, I said, to her, I was like, what do you want me to say here? <laughs> I'm like, what, how do I navigate the situation? It's like, I kind of do want you to get the second yeah. round, yeah. but like, do I is say this a no? Test? Yeah. Hesitating like card half out of the wallet. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she was like, oh, sh should I get it? And I'm like, uh, no, I'll get it. <laughs> yeah. Like, Fuck it out. So what happened? I got it. Oh, but she, she paid for ice cream. Okay. Is that the same as buying two rounds? It's definitely not. Four drinks? But I enjoyed the ice cream a lot more, so. Yeah, it's not really it's about actually a, that though, It's actually it? a smart play financially. Yeah. What, from her? Yeah. Oh, mm. should I get it? No, no, because like she paid for ice cream that, and I felt more satisfied from the ice cream than I did from the drinks, but <sighs> it was like a quarter of the price. Yeah. yeah. It was Messina though. Yeah, I mean, she's using her money efficiently. Is You respect just, it. Yeah. I respect it. And you got to do the power play of like, yeah, sure, I'll get the second round. <laughs> oh yeah, that's why I love yeah. that. Ego boost, the ego <laughs> yeah. boost as well. I love yeah. that, yeah, so much. <laughs> nice. All right, well, congratulations. Do you want to do you want to hit it with the the next? Am I the asshole? Oh yeah, I, I saw a podcast. This is an Australian one, so um, I'm gonna get some of the things wrong. I'll just preference, but it was like one of the European trains. Okay. So it was like a big train, big train ride, and this guy had booked for like a premium seat. So you can often stand up on these trains, and they're super cheap. Are you gonna do? Am I the asshole? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, but you gotta say oh. it for the clip, man. Am I the asshole? Okay, wait. <laughs> Am I the asshole for not standing up when an old lady wanted to take my seat? Okay. So he's on one of his European trains yeah. and he booked like, he paid like 250 pounds to have this whole flight, a whole trip when he's sitting on a seat. Yeah. And people will often just risk it and rock up and stand up. Yep. Yep. And so he's sitting down on this seat, but they gave him the seat that was like for the elderly, you know, like yeah. you sit here unless someone else needs it. Sure. That's the seat that they gave him. And he's sitting there and this old woman kind of hobbles up and <laughs> is like, for this like eight hour trip and he doesn't let her sit down. Oh. 
So is he the asshole for not letting us sit down despite the fact that he paid for it? Oh, that's uh, it's a nightmare. This that, is a tricky that one. That is uh, another gray area. I feel like like he did pay for it. Yeah, you know, yeah. if she wanted to sit down, she should have paid for it. There's that argument, but then there's also like your morals. Like you got to let if you've got an old woman here who wants to sit down for a big trip. Yeah, she is entitled to that chair. I think it's it's a stitch up from the company. I oh. think what happens is you get up, let the lady sit down, and then you tell the company and you demand a, get a refund. refund. Yeah, I think yeah. that's the best way. I reckon cop that. You're you're that old. You've had that much <laughs> life experience. You should have known to buy a fucking <laughs> yeah. seated ticket. Yeah, you saved up. How have you lived this long yeah. and not figured out this problem yet? I know pensions are pretty rough now, but like... Do you reckon old people on? just... Like, I was about to say, did they use it? Do they like... No, do you reckon old people just... It? They just rock up just knowing that there's going to be a seat they can steal. Yeah. And do they get, hu- get off like, on <laughs> that? <laughs> yeah. They rock up, they see like a pregnant woman. They say, I, I outrank you. Yeah. <laughs> and they like take a seat. <laughs> yeah, so... Old Italian lady is the asshole. No, no, no. I think <laughs> I think the company's the asshole. Yeah. I think in that situation, I would have let her sit down for sure. Yeah. I would have been annoyed. So about he's it. the asshole. I, I would have been annoyed about it. I wouldn't have been annoyed at her. I would have been annoyed at the company. Yeah. For giving me that seat because you paid a lot of money, and I would have done what you said. I would have reached out and been like, "Give me my money back." Or you, you, oh, because you're because we're content creators. I take a photo. You, you film it. No, oh, I nice. take a picture. Yeah, post it on TikTok. Viral, yeah. no, no, ask the old lady. It's like this young man has let me sit down here despite the fact that he paid for the seat. Please give him a <laughs> refund. Yeah, nice. That's what I did. And then you yeah. send it to like the train company and be like, I'm posting this if you don't give me yeah, like yeah, a blackmail. refund. Oh, blackmail. Plus blackmail. like six blackmail. months yeah. free travel. Black- yeah. Huge blackmail vibes. Make it 12 months. Smart. Yeah. 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 Good solution, boys. Oh, and, nice. then, and then you write an, am I the asshole for blackmailing a company? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Brilliant. The content writes itself. <laughs> it's, it's brilliant. <laughs> Beautiful. Right. You got any more? Oh yeah, I got some more. Um, I, I, have a, I have a train story. Oh, actually. Train Go story. on. Yeah. So if I'm, it's not an am I the asshole. Well, maybe it is an am I the <laughs> asshole. Um, so... <laughs> All right, this is, this is a pretty long one, actually. And I don't know if I do want to share this on the podcast. <laughs> well, we can cut it out later. Voice. Okay, so this, may, this might just be for the editors. So I went to Japan a couple of years ago. And um, I, don't know, I don't know if it's like, you know, just the, the food over there or maybe I'm just like a nervous flyer or something like that. But we were over there for two weeks. And let me tell you, I was clogged up. Really? I, I heard, I heard the Japanese food is amazing. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it is so, so, so good. a good clogged up. But I was just like, I was, uh, yeah, I was struggling. And by the end of this second week, I'm like, dude, I got to do something. About this. <laughs> I was like, this is bad. And so I'm with my dad at the time and I'm like, fuck, we got to like, it was like 11 o'clock at night. I was like, I got to go to find like a, a chemist or something and like get some like laxatives yeah, or something yeah, yeah. like that. And uh, we find this chemist, the dude doesn't speak English. And my dad takes it upon himself to like try Roleplay? and like <laughs> tell this guy about me. He's like, he's like, my son. Ooh. <laughs> oh, like doing like the actions and stuff like that. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, dude, this is mortifying. And this, this pharmacist is like, fuck is this guy talking about? And he's like, oh, he, he needs to, oh. and then I'm like, dad, it's not working. And he's like, oh, hang on. And then he gets out Google translate and he goes, Beep. my son needs to poo. And then like, <laughs> look, reads the guy and the guy looks at him and then he goes, oh, and then like looks <laughs> right at me and I'm like, <laughs> and then, um, so he's like, oh yeah, take these pills, whatever. I'm like, sweet. I take like, I read the back of the box and it's like, take like two pills. And I'm like, it's been two weeks. I'll take four. And <laughs> oh, so no. I take these four pills. I'm sitting there for like the next couple of hours in the hotel room. I'm like, nothing's happened. I was like, what is going on here? I've Duds. been given some dud pills here. Mm. I might take another one. We'll see, see how it goes. Oh, no. Nothing. The next day we catch this bullet train to oh, Kyoto. No. You're thinking bullet train. So it's only going to be a quick trip. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm sitting there on the, the bullet train and I go, oh shit. I was like, oh no, it's happening. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> like it's like happening. in labor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. I'm like, oh no, my water's broken. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, I've got spit marks. First contraction. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I'm pushing my way past. I'm like, get the fuck out of the way. And then um, <laughs> the, first of all, bullet trains are sick. It's almost like, it's like out of a sci-fi movie. Like, you mm. know, you walk in the, the doors are so sick. And um, I lock myself in this toilet and just like, <laughs> it's bad, man. It's bad. Absolutely destroyed, destroyed it. And then um, I was like, fuck, thank God. Crisis averted. That's sweet. No one's ever going <laughs> to no know. This is dope. And so flush it, leave. And as I leave, these doors like open up and there's just like three Japanese women just uh-huh. standing outside. And they're just like, Oh, oh no. and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> and like, I just try to like, kind of like rush past, walk past. And I'm like, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. And then I just see one like lean into the toilet. And I'm like, oh, 
fuck. And then, like, <laughs> and then, like say something to her friend. And I was like, like classic American or something. Yeah, yeah, literally like, oh, fuck this white guy. Just, yeah, like, yeah. Destroying these like- No respect. Women's yeah. toilet. Super nice, like clean toilets. Yeah, also I'm like, did I go on? What, what happened? Was yeah, it just yeah, like yeah. a gender neutral toilet? I don't know. Yeah, it must have Or did have you been. go in the women's toilet? I, I think know. I was just so panicked. I didn't even yeah, realize. Yeah. I just barged through. Yeah. Out of my way, lady. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, don't think, they, I mean, you're definitely not an arsehole. Intentional. You're not an <laughs> yeah. intentional arsehole. Yeah, yeah. So in Japan, they have um, female only carriages, which, because like people get groped all the time because yeah. there's so many people. So they have female only, only carriages. But also in the nightclubs, they have female only sections. And I didn't know this. And I got kicked out of a nightclub because I was quite drunk. And I was like, in the women's section, I was like, oh, there's just ladies here. Ooh, like, hey, how's it going? Like, all the rest of it, they just fucking kicked me straight out. <laughs> That's like, we were at um, a club once and there's like these hot girls like dancing on the stage and then me and my mate went up. <laughs> they kicked us down. <laughs> like, like, get off the stage. <laughs> as soon as the first foot lands on the stage, yeah, like, just nah. security are just like on it straight away. Yeah, yeah, it's shocking. That's a good one. I like that. That's a good yeah, one. It was yeah. rough. It was rough. Um, <clears throat> All right, we'll do one more. Am I the asshole? Okay. Am I the asshole? I work for I work in HR for a big company and we're hiring. My cousin found out and applied and asked me if I would put a word in. But he's kind of a dick. He spends half of his time trolling online and he posts weird memes on the family group chat that creeps us out. So <laughs> I don't want him to be associated with me. So I intercepted his application, waited three days and then sent him a formal rejection letter. <laughs> Am I the asshole? Uh, this is a good one. I like this. Yes. I, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't reckon he is because like, he probably knows he wasn't going to get the job anyway. Why? Well, if he knows, like, I get this. Like if someone came to, like, I don't, I wouldn't refer someone. If I had someone I respect, I'm not going to refer a drop kick to them. Even if there's someone close to me. Yeah. So the cousin has asked. It's a hard situation to be in. Your, your cousin is in HR in the company you're trying to go for. And you're like, can you please just give me a good word or whatever? Like that's a pretty, if they, if you do get a good word from someone in HR, like you got the job. Yeah. Mm. So like, obviously he hasn't done that. Mm. True. So like that, I think family he, stuff, you he know. might've got the job, but would he have been good at the job? Or would, I, I mean, get, what I if get, you, are you an asshole if you bring in a drop kick to a job and that causes more issues? So maybe he, is it family first or is it, <sighs> is it your career over everything? I don't know. It's, a, it's always tricky. Just like having someone that, you know, wanting to apply to like your work yeah. or whatever, because it is very much a reflection on you as well. Sure. If you're like, totally. yeah, like, this is my fucking cousin or whatever. Yeah, hire him. And if they do a terrible job, it's like, dude, yeah. come yeah. on. And it's like, there's no benefit. Because I've, I've had like, I referred videographer once to a client. Yeah. They needed a videographer and the whole thing went to shit and they were both like messaging me and I think I got no money out of it. I got no benefit. Yeah. I was just linking them up and I'm like, you know what? I'm just never going to do this again because there was no benefit to me. So I'm just not going to refer anyone. So it's yeah, like, yeah. it's just easier to stay out of it because you don't get any benefit by like referring them except they're thankful. Really? This isn't staying out of it. This is actively sabotaging your cousin's job application. <laughs> it's pretty rough, eh? I would say he is the asshole, but I understand. Right, justified, justifiable asshole. asshole. Yeah. That's a good answer. Yeah, yeah. I have to have to agree. What do you think? Yeah, no, I can't argue with that. Yeah, can't argue with that. All right, man. When the girls are out, <laughs> we're just making we're decisions. Just, we're, yeah, we're bang. We're like problem solved. Next one. <laughs> All right. Um, do we run an ad and then come back for fact or caps? Yeah, sure. All right, shit, yeah. Hit it, Charles. The theme song just faded up and then faded out again. Out. Hey, and we're back. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get rid of that. <laughs> well done, Charles. First time on the decks. Um, let's do fact or caps. Sure. Uh, and by fact or caps, I mean two because that's all we have. We got two. That's all right. That's, that's all right. What do you got? Yay! Shit <laughs> Real school factor cap is this story could be bullshit. That's the game we play. Okay. So we make up yeah. half the stories. And so you got to try to figure it out. All right. Let's okay. Go. Let's Here go. we go. This is actually a really good one. Unlike um, our others. <laughs> no, but it's like, I've only got one. Yeah. So, so I'm glad yeah, it's, it's, a, it's okay. a ripper. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Did you know Kim Jong-un's, sorry. <clears throat> Did you know Kim Jong-un's brother was assassinated during a prank TV show? No, what? No way. An Indonesian woman arrested for suspected involvement in the killing of North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un's half-brother in Malaysia was duped into thinking she was part of a comedy show prank, Indonesia's national police chief has said. The police chief told reporters that the woman, 25-year-old Siti Aisha, was paid to be involved in pranks. He said she and another woman performed stunts which involved convincing men to close their eyes and then spraying them with water, like out on the street. Um... 
Such an action was done three or four times and they were given a few dollars for it. With the last target, Kim Jong-nam, allegedly there were toxic materials in the sprayer. She was not aware that it was an assassination attempt oh by alleged foreign agents. Oh my God. But the guy died. He died? Yeah. So they put some like poison or acid or something in yeah. there. So they like got them to do a couple, like go on people on the streets, like spray them with water. Like, yeah. And then the final one they got them to do, it was genius. It was um, like- It's a genius poison. assassination. Yeah. Oh my God. So they, they had no idea they were killing this guy. Wow. Jeez, that's horrible. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, so she's pulled the trigger. Yeah. yeah. Literally. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Okay. Um, hmm. Does, I, I don't even know if he has a brother. I reckon, I don't know. That's see that. That's tricky. I mean, like that stuff definitely does happen. The assassinations definitely do happen. And I almost feel like it's fact because you Random. struggled on one of the names there. And I was like, mm. surely he didn't make that up. Surely not. I don't reckon he made it up, but someone else could have. This someone is where I get caught sometimes. You get fan submissions. <laughs> true, true. And you get some other people who are much smarter than us. I'm going to say it's Cap. I'm going to say it's Cap. I'm going to say Cap as well. Yeah. This story is completely true. Oh. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Oh, man. How I, good. Yeah, it is good. I don't feel bad for him. Kim Jong-un is like... Wait, well, yeah, but it's not him. It's his half-brother. Well, I'm sure he's no better. I mean, he's like... <laughs> well, he can't be any worse. Any worse, but I mean... Even if he's like, look, regardless, it's crazy. It's a, like as if that happens. Yeah, we want to believe this stuff happens. Yeah, and it turns out, it turns out it Again, does. Again, it's, it's objectively a very genius way to yeah. kill someone. Spray. Yeah. yeah, that's it. That's there all it go. takes. Yeah, uh, that was a Nick Grove submission. Yeah, I didn't think it was you. That's um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. what I was saying. Um, yeah, that's a good one. There you go. That was right. a good one. That's good. Shout that was out. really good. What's all right, one? Jackson's got one. I don't have a factual cap. I have a story though. Oh, yeah, all right. Oh, it's a fact then. It's a fact. It's <laughs> okay, <just> a spoilers. Fact. <laughs> okay. So this is a, I got, okay. <clears throat> um, when I went to Singapore, I got held hostage by my Uber. Oh, wow. I guess. What? Yeah. So, so in, in Singapore, they don't have the Uber app. They have like a very similar thing. Like it's get. called like Grab or something. Uh, grab, yeah, 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 yeah. And so um, I linked my card to it, ordered this Uber and, um, we like, we drive to the destination and we pull up and he's like, all right, sweet. That's 24 bucks. I'm like, cool. Yep. Just charge the card. Yeah, and yeah. he's like, no, no, no. This is a cash only fare. And I was like, what? They what? do do that on Grab. Yeah. You can choose a cash only option. And that's the default option. I didn't know. Even though I linked my card, you have to yeah. select. Card. It's the same in Bali. Yeah. Right. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Just, just charge the card. He's like, no, no, no. It's only cash. And I was like, I don't have any cash. <laughs> oh, oh, I was like, no way. I was like, oh no. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. And um and he's like, well, bro, you're gonna have to figure it out. And I was like, okay. I was take, like, well, just take me to an ATM. Is he like yeah, un un unzip like, his fly? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, like, that's, like, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> he's like, well, um, maybe we can sort something else out. <laughs> Hit some music. <laughs> down, 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 down. <laughs> he's like, I was like, well, we're at the restaurant. Like, I can run into the restaurant, grab some cash. And he's like, no, I don't trust you. Oh. I was like, Okay, fair enough. Um, do you want to come with me? He's like, no. I'm like, All right. Um, do you want to go to an ATM and I'll get some money out? And he's like, no, I don't know where an ATM is. And I was what? like, okay, so I don't have any cash and you don't want to take me to an ATM. Do you want the money? And I'm sort of like yeah. struggling here, but I was like, all right, fair enough. Well, luckily I had a few people um, that I was meeting with at the restaurant and I gave them a call, gave, gave the manager of the campaign I was even in Singapore, in Singapore for, Gave her a call. I've only spoken to her once. I was like, hey, so um, I'm at the restaurant. She's like, oh, great. I'm like, I am locked in the Uber though because I don't have any cash. And she's like, oh, all right. I'll call you back in five minutes because I don't have cash. I was like, sweet. So I hang up. We're just sitting in silence. This is the longest five minutes <laughs> of my life. Just like this. Just like a kid locked yeah, in yeah, the back yeah. of the car. Like, <laughs> so... <laughs> And um, how long have you been driving for? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I did not. I did not even want to touch that with a 10 foot pole. Did not want to speak to this dude. I felt so bad. I was apologizing. I was like, dude, take me to an ATM. The fare was $24. I'll give you $50. Yeah. And he's like, no. I was like, <laughs> what? Was it like a power trip thing? I don't know. He just like locked me in the car. He's like, you're wasting my time, bro. I'm like, you're wasting your Our own time yeah. <laughs> and my time. You played yourself. Yeah. Come on, dude. There's an ATM 400 meters down the road. And he's like, and um, so these five minutes go by. Thank God, finally get the call back. And they're like, okay, so there's a few other people from your group that are coming and one of them has cash. That'll be five minutes. I was like, sweet. 
20 minutes later. Oh no. I'm still sitting there. This guy's getting so angry. He's like, dude, it was five minutes ago, five minutes ago. And I'm like, you're telling me. I was like, I know, I know. I'm so sorry. And um, he like, he like hops out, has a cigarette with me still locked in the back. So <laughs> just like, what? Like a dog. Yeah, yeah literally like <laughs> didn't even wind the window down for me. I was just sitting there like, this sucks. And I like go for the handle. I'm like, yep, it's still locked. Yeah. Like, oh, fuck. And then, um, this couple even walks past and I think it's like the group of friends. And I look out the window and I'm like, help me, like help me. And this couple just looks at me and they're like, fuck oh. that. Yeah, and just kept walking. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> and um, finally they pull up and give this dude the cash. And I've never met any of these other people in my life, like these people that paid for the Uber. And so it was this awkward like first meeting, like, hey guys, anyway, I'm Jackson. Like, it's, uh, it's nice. Thanks for paying for my Uber. Anyway, can't wait to work together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Super awkward. This this uh, this dude was so unhappy, but he got his money at the end. And yeah, it was a horrible, horrible experience. Wow, wow. Fuck. But he sounds like an absolute, he probably just did it for fun. Honestly, I think it was just like a little bit of a like. He was bored. Yeah. This guy. But he's also like, with, wait, what was this? In Singapore. Oh, Singapore. Because he, it's I was not like. a third world nation. I thought he was going to be like some maybe poor guy who wants to get at the rich people. Right. Which is kind of fair. Mm. But like. There's a lot of like tourist trap type stuff over right, there. Right, like really? You order a drink and they'll just charge you like 50 bucks. Just to see if you say just anything. Just to pay it, yeah. yeah. And you just pay it every time. You just, you have <laughs> yeah. no idea. You're like. Yeah, I'll just tap. That's weird. All right. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not going to argue that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a vo- one vodka Red Bull was $50. Holy Singapore, crap. Which is like 70 or $80. Yeah, absolutely no. brutal. I wouldn't pay that. Yeah. How many well. did you buy? <laughs> Thank God it wasn't me that bought right. it. But yeah, oh I just like, God. they were like, I just paid $80 for this. And I'm like, <laughs> that is horrible. That was us the other night with Japanese food. Oh my God. But at least it wasn't my money. It yeah. kind of was my money though. We, we TikTok gave me $150 like, cause I was at an event and they give you like $150 to spend on like food and shit. Oh, and I, I didn't spend any of it. And then the next day I was like, oh, I got some money. Let's go out for dinner. Yeah. And we went to this restaurant and it was, it was full. So we went to the a Japanese one. We spent like $110. I don't even want to think about it. It was it was like $120. We got two mains and, and two beers. Yeah. And the mains yeah. were like small. Fine. They were fine. They How were like is that even possible? They were like, yeah, yeah, mediocre. It was insane. A main can't be more than like sickening. It was like f- well, we, well, I had the I had the money, like, so I was like, oh let's get a $50 steak yeah. for the boys, yeah. might as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like this it, like tiny little thing. Yeah. yeah, it was like cut up. It was like oh. 200 gram I feel it or something. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't even like a, it was whatever. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> 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 Anyways, get angry um, just thinking about it. I got some more your other questions. Oh going back. All right. Hit something, Charles. Any button. Um so we used to do would you rather questions. We'll bring them back. We've got some. Yeah. See, we'll see what you think. Um, would you rather be forced to live the same day over and over again for a full year okay. or take three years off the end of your life? Ooh, off the end. <clears throat> so like you're going to die at 80, you die at 77. Do you get to pick the day you get to relive or is it like... I think it's just like... I don't know. Oh, the same day. Yeah. Let's say, let's say it's, like it's an average day. And you know you're living the same day. Yeah. You're consciously aware of it. And it resets at the end of the day. Yeah, you like, could have a lot of fun. You yeah. could have a lot of fun. You could, you could do whatever you want. And th- but the cool thing is, at the end of that year, it's only tomorrow. Yes. So you, it's it's basically like you're doing a year's worth of training. I do. You could, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what 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 are we what, what are we even doing? Yeah. It's a pretty obvious answer. Yeah. yeah. For sure, I'd live I'd live today, over and over and over. I would know you so well. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. I, I would. Ha- you would hate you both. <laughs> like imagine having to have that same conversation like you land in, <laughs> like we picked oh. up from the airport and you're like oh the bag was like yeah mate no, I know the bag was late no, yeah. 1000 no but time. on one of the days you could just be like oh, fuck Jackson I'm just gonna do something else yeah that's else. so true true I could just ditch him yeah, yeah, yeah then, and then though. the next day <laughs> <laughs> nah but you wouldn't know you, you wouldn't remember yeah yeah I, I you just could kill someone that. I would d- <laughs> yeah. I mean hey you just you know you yeah, but experience then, everything but then you're actually traumatized by having done that yeah for sure when it's over yeah because you remember yeah yeah so you could go just like do whatever you want. You could do anything. Yeah, yeah I would. Just I walk would into a bar and punch someone. <laughs> yeah, get into a piece of street. Just boys. go ask out every single person you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would. Uh, I would totally live the one year on repeat. Yeah, I've always thought that'd be kind of fun. It you would know, be like. I think it would get dry very quickly though. But like, do you yeah. think you would develop this insane, insane. like confidence and like you would just you would completely demolish your fear of rejection because you could just spend a, a week just going like asking literally everybody out and you'd be like, oh, I don't care anymore. Yeah. Like you would you would become a superhuman. Yeah. In that yeah. year. It's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. I got one more. That was a good one. That was a good one for Jackson. Would you rather never use social media ever again or never watch another movie ever <coughs> again? Oh, that is brutal. Yeah. <laughs> that is so brutal. <laughs> oh, I would... I... Oh, this is like... <laughs> 
pulling me in two different directions. I literally work in the film industry, so it would be kind of messed up not ever watching a film again. Although I work with a lot of people that don't watch films. But they make them. I, yeah, they make them. I could easily live without watching another film. I yeah, think, I think I could as well. I think I would go with <laughs> not ever watching another film again. Is the loophole there? I can still watch TV series. Maybe, yeah. Let's, let's yeah, just say like, that. Yeah, because that. I, there's a lot of good TV series out okay. right now. So. Yeah. so you take social media and TV instead of... Yeah, no, cin- no, no similar experience. I watch YouTube most of the time. So, yeah. <laughs> well, there's you know the, the word on the street is that movies are just getting worse and worse and worse because yeah, the budgets p- pretty much aren't are, there yeah. anymore. Matt Damon was talking about that actually, yeah. he was and talk- Quentin Tarantino was as well. He was talking about because um they don't do like the DVD release or anything. Yeah, yeah, I saw that video. Yeah, they used to they used to fl- not make enough money at the box office, but they'd make up for that in tw- thirty million. They were saying Goodwill Hunting wouldn't exist. Yeah. Um. Now, like yeah. those movies aren't getting. It's made true anymore. though. Like, what movies are coming out? I can't. I couldn't even tell you. Er, early nineties, Marvel. Early, yeah. Early nineties to like mid two thousands was like prime movies because it was still blockbuster. But there was they took a lot of risks on more drama and stuff mm, like yeah. Goodwill Hunting, or Fight Club. Whereas now it's like, where are the explosions? Like there has to be like it has to be a big story because the you tic- have to make all this money in the box office. So. The TikTok effect. Like yeah. our attention spans have, have dropped. And everything has to appeal to an international audience. Like mm. China is like just so huge in the box office game. So it's like... My gut feeling is that there'll be this teething period where it becomes independent. And then all of a sudden, independent films on low budgets with like nobody working on them are going to be amazing. Yeah. And they're going to be like the new like Goodwill Hunting. It's going to be like five people just like with a phone yeah. making these incredible <coughs> Well, they did that films. for Blair Witch Project. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And mm. A24 is like huge for it at the moment. They're, they're pretty much like the films to see if you want to see like something that isn't a blockbuster. A24 yeah. is just making like banger after banger. Their so production the house? Moment. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Cool. Good Anyways, um, you got, you got some nopes or dopes? I got one nope or dope. I got, I don't think I have any. Yeah, let's just hit it. We'll end on this one. Hit that jingle. Yay! <laughs> okay. Um, nope or dope. It's, I mean, as it sounds. I want right, it. Is this right. nope or is it dope? Oh, I really wanted to ask this with a with a with a female guest because it feels right for them. But I, I might just ask it again. Yeah, we could do it twice. Yeah. So, nope or dope, the upside down bikini style thing, like where the you know the the style of bikini where like you know how bikinis is like the line is here yeah, yeah, and yeah. then it's like triangles, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 But there's obviously over the last couple of years there's been like the reverse where like the lines are here and then it's, it's like an upside down bikini. Yeah. Dope. You reckon they're dope? I think sick. You're gonna yeah. have to show me a photo. <sighs> uh, if, it's <laughs> if it's what I'm thinking, if it's what I'm thinking of, um, upside down. I'm a sucker for like unique bikinis. Anything that's like, but they're different. not unique because every fucking. Oh. Well, just maybe yeah. It's okay. I mean, these guys are really hot, so like you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so take but, it with a grain of salt. Um, it's this style of bikini. So like you know how the, oh. the things on the bottom, and it's like they've just taken a normal bikini oh. and flipped true, it upside down. True, true, dope. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan, but I also kind of do like it at the same time. Yeah, I can't stand it. You know, I I can see why you can't. I I can see why you can't stand it. Yeah, I just think they're taking something that's great and they're just ruining it. And 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 it's really unflattering because it like squishes you. Yeah, yeah. It's like well, it's a fashion industry, isn't it? Right. You can't stay stagnant. You got to constantly. People just want to do anything to be different. See, yeah. I I don't go to the beach, so yeah, neither do I. But I I mean, I see you know you see pictures. Yeah. yeah, on Instagram or whatever, but yeah, yeah. no. I, I, if I had to choose, I'd go dope. Yeah, Do I would. I'd go dope. Yeah, it's big nope. nope. Yeah, yeah. big yeah. old nope. But there you go. I mean, as I said, it's not a very um, it's not really ours to decide. But <laughs> I've 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 got one then. Oh, right, yeah. Similar to that, just just riffing off the back of that. Nope or dope speedos. <sighs> oh. Okay, here we go. I think <laughs> I've been waiting for this. <laughs> I reckon the idea is dope. Yeah. But I think the culture around it is nope. Okay. I yeah. think it's like, it's like this iron ironic thing where it's like this macho thing of like wearing speedos. Yeah. Whereas I think just the idea of like, you know, getting the, getting the thighs out and, and, and not having to, to deal with the shorts is, is cool. But I don't like the culture around the speedos. I think it's like mm. a bit, like yeah, it's very much so. It's like yeah, it's, it's like super. Much usually, only ripped guys wear speedos, and like <laughs> maybe it's just coming from like an insecure place. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we're yeah. not we're yeah. not ripped enough to wear speedos yeah. or cool enough. But I wouldn't wear speedos. But it's like I lack the confidence. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe yeah. Maybe this is just a jealousy thing. Yeah, and that I haven't rocked them because I feel naked. This feels weird. Like you can see the the package. 
Yeah, I kind of wear them out of like just to be ironic, basically, because yeah. I'm right. not I'm not jacked at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just it's ridiculous. Yeah. So yeah. you do wear speedos. Yeah. Wow. When you went on the odd occasion that you go to the beach. Damn right. Shit. Yeah. See, maybe I'm maybe I got this wrong. Yeah. I just I think it's out of jealousy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I big time. Yeah. yeah. I just don't think I'm cool enough to wear them. Yeah. And so I'm just gonna hate anyone who does wear them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. I reckon I'll cop some. We'll cop a hit on uh, TikTok with that one, but you know, you got to be honest. Yeah. There you go. Got any more? Um, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nope. No. All right. Well, on that bombshell, we Jackson, did four sections. Jackson we crushed it. Thank you so much for coming on the podcast. It's been an absolute hoot. We'll go. You know, I don't know what we're doing for the rest of the day, but we'll hang out. Yeah. Go for a walk. Go somewhere. Take him to Shady Pines, our favorite bar in Sydney. But if yeah. you could, um, let's let's roll the outro, which is very similar to the intro. Um. Give the Jackson Field a follow the on every platform. Not Jackson Field. It has to be the Jackson Field. <laughs> yeah. Your videos are awesome, man. I think you deserve credit for it. So, yeah. Yep. Go and send him some love. Um, give so us much. the stars. Give on, us the stars. Like Spotify, every platform. Spotify wrapped. Send yeah. us a screenshot of you giving us the stars and we'll send you a little video reply as a, as a treat. Um, Thanks for listening. Yeah, a considering bit we did it almost zero prep for it. Yeah. It's been very fun. No. Crushed it, guys. Yeah, crushed it. No, good stuff. Jackson, thanks for coming on. Thank you, Charles, on the decks. Thank you. That was a beautiful performance. Yeah, beautiful. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Much thanks, love. guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.